Hello, welcome to this lesson in Mastering Statistics. I'm Jason here. In this lesson, we're going to continue talking about confidence intervals when we have small number of samples, which means sample size is less than 30. The problem we're going to work here says we have 25 tigers, uh, and they were found to have an average weight of 600 pounds with a standard deviation of 90 pounds. What is the margin of error on a 98% confidence interval for this data? So this is a great example of when we might actually have to use this, these techniques because remember the breakpoint is a sample size of 30. Here we have 25 tigers so we know the sample size is less than 30 and so we know we want to use a student t distribution to find the confidence interval. This is a great example though. Um, we might not have the luxury of, of studying 100 tigers because tigers are fairly rare. They're probably in the wild of course but they're in zoos around the world and it might be difficult for you to go and study 100 tigers or 200 tigers or 300 tigers. So the best we can do is regionally we find 25 tigers locally that we can go weigh, but we're, we're limited on that. So this is a practical example of when it might be tough to get over 30, um, of a sample size over 30. But anyway, we have a lot of data here, so let's kind of chop through it, and the best way to do that is to write it down. So we know the sample size is 25, we denote that as N, uh, and of those 25 tigers, the average weight was 600 pounds, so we denote that as X bar. And it says the standard deviation was 90 pounds. So what this means is of the 25 tigers, this is the, not the population, this is the sample standard deviation. Of the 25 tigers, the deviation about the mean was 90 pounds. So that means, you know, some tigers were lower, some tigers were higher than 600 pounds, but the spread of that data is denoted by that standard deviation. Also, we're looking for a 98% confidence interval, so that means C, which is a level of confidence, is 0.98. So this is all the raw data here, and we want to find that margin of error. So the first thing we want to do, the first thing we want to do is we want to say, well, the degree of freedom is just equal to n minus 1, which is 25 minus 1, which is 24. That's going to be helpful whenever we look up the, uh, the t value in the table. We have to know the degrees of freedom. Next, we'll switch colors. Next, we say that um, alpha is just 1 minus c. Because remember, if you can picture the, the distribution here, the level of confidence is what's in the center there, in this case 0.98. The tails is what we denote here, 1 minus C. So in this case, 1 minus 0.98 is 0 0.02. But our T distribution table, it only cares about the area to the right of the value of T. So we calculate alpha over 2, which is 0 0.02 divided by 2, which is 0 0.01. So this is the value of alpha over 2 that we really care about. So what we really want to look up is the value of t that corresponds to this little bitty area